Hi guys, welcome to another Hoi 4 challenge. In today's challenge we're gonna play as Bulgaria. Trigger difficulty, stroke of focus is on and arm in mode off. Start. Ah yes, Bulgaria. Everything is set. I'm gonna start by exercising my army for some army experience. Let's go for power to the Tsar. I'm obviously going the right way, not the wrong way. And I'll be building infrastructure here, here and here. I gotta improve the Bulgarian roads. I'll start by researching CAS and artillery. Yes, I know, a bit of a weird thing to research. Let's also research basic machine tools. And I'll produce only guns for now. Need some steel. And I think we're all set. Let's go. I hope I get awarded for the upcoming sufferings. Oh, look at all these beautiful national spirits. Ah yes, a country that got focus tree after a lot of resistance. And we finished power to the Tsar. I'm not gonna go this way, sorry. Sorry, I know, this is a bit more based. I'm gonna go this way though. Appoint right-wing ministers. And now I got 100 political power, although I don't have 20 command power, so let's wait a little bit. And now I have it. I'm gonna hire artillery expert, Ivan Sapunjiev. Why the hell him? Well, I don't need artillery expert really, but he's loyal. All of these guys eventually just disappear for some reason. He doesn't, he's loyal, he always stays here, so I need army experience and I just hired him. Look, Ethiopia capitulated on 420. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy achieved. And after finishing this based focus, I'm gonna do something based. I'm gonna ban democratic parties. Yes, I know. And next thing I'm gonna do is crush the communists. Based speed run. Basic machine tools are researched as well as artillery. I'm gonna go for construction one and disperse industry one. And communists are crushed, which means no more democratic support and no more communist support, at least for now. Let's now go for the path towards the greater Bulgaria. This is going to increase my economy law by one step, so I'll have to go for partial mobilization as soon as I can. And we researched CAS. Let's research after mechanical engineering. And Spanish Civil War just started. This is one very important thing. We're gonna need that Civil War. We're gonna go for hunger, and this is gonna get us 5% communist support. As long as this is over 30%, we can finish this focus easily. We just got 150 pp, let's go for partial mobilization. So when this focus finishes, we're gonna get our economy, even though we're not supposed to be able to get it. It's very important to know where our factories are. There's six sieves here, and there's two sieves and three mills here. So all of our military industry is in this state. Path towards Greater Bulgaria is paved. Now we're gonna go for Bulgarian Redentism. This is going to increase war tension by 1%, but we don't care that much. We improved the roads in another state. Now people there are going to vote for me in the elections. And after this I'm gonna go for Mechanical Computing. Oh look at this, we have to demobilize our economy, oh no! Well, too bad, we just finished Bulgarian Redentism, we just got 20% war support out of nowhere, and we no longer have to worry about people protesting. At least for that reason, they're still striking, but at least no protests here. And now let's do the post that's Tsar. Once we finish this focus, we're gonna finally see some action. No more worker strikes, yay! This person industry one is researched, as well as construction one. Let's get construction two and disperse two. And the infrastructure is improved in north. Now let's build land forts around Sofia, because why not? For no particular reason whatsoever, definitely. And this focus is finished. Now what happens? We go into the civil war because we had too low stability, which is good. Because now I can just say no to restrictions. And something mysterious happens. We have fascist party, they have no light party. And where is Boris? I have no idea. Anyway, we got most of the army. Let's draw a front line. Let's build up our railways, I guess. I have no idea what to build. If I take Sofia and Plovdiv, they're going to capitulate. However, I don't want them to capitulate. I just want to have more factories. I'm gonna go for Plovdiv because that's where our entire military industry is. And now we got military factories. I'm gonna go for military dictatorship. Talking about military dictatorship, let's go for state service and military. And let's go for limited conscription now. Now I'm going to improve relations with Italy and with Germany. I'm going to also Ask Italy for military access, and now I get 0.13 pp a day. I just want them to, to like me, I just want to be likable. Let's take back entirety of our country except for Sofia itself. Since we no longer have army restrictions, we can now produce gas. I'm gonna do that, and I'm going to import some rubber and, and uh, aluminum. My next goal will be to destroy these two divisions, so I don't have to worry about them all the time. And Italy now likes me, let's stop improving relations with them. And let's start improving relations with the Soviet Union. Also, let's stop improving relations with the Germany. Destroy this division in Husko. Husko speedrun. That's it, we de destroy their entire army. Let's just put our divisions here so that we don't take unnecessary attrition around Sofia. Anyway, Italy likes us, Germany likes us, and Soviet Union is soon going to like us as well. I need Soviets to have 45 opinion of me, and here we are. 
now I'm going to start producing stuff, but not actually producing it, just putting it into the production line. So it's fake produce guns, trains, support equipment, trucks, and artillery. As well as fighters, we're already producing gas. Oh my god, is the Republic and Spain going to win? No, I don't think they're going to win. No way. Let's start land leasing them. I'll be sending them infinite amounts of guns, support equipment, trucks, trains, artillery, cas, fighters. Now I've got giant deficit of equipment, minus 2 million. Yay, help me out guys. Now I need to ask them for equipment pretty much. All of them are going to send me something. Italy decided to send me guns mostly. Germany is not going to send me guns, but they're going to send me artillery, trains and planes. It even rhymes. And what the Soviet Union has for me? Artillery, trains, and also planes. Same like Germany. And now I'm going to cancel land lease. So I don't actually accidentally send them everything I have. And this is what we're gonna do for the next year or so. Let's convert them all to this template. And I'll be switching engineers for support artillery. I've never seen anarchists in Western Aragon before. It's just Eastern Aragon. They have zero factories. They're not exactly a country, so that's why. Let's now approach Germany. Also, let's modify this template a little bit more. Let's give it another infantry battalion. Now it's 20 width with support artillery. It's pretty solid. And let's also start justifying against Greece. I almost completely forgot to take flame state, central Macedonia. Our equipment has just arrived. Once again, I'm going to start land leasing. Uh, anarchists, give me stuff Italy, give me stuff Germany. And once again, I'm using the fact that major countries have good opinion of me for my monetary gains. Then, like, I'm playing Romania and not Bulgaria, actually. Let's not forget to modify land lease, cancel it. And let's get back to building land forts around Sofia. Here we go, another delivery. Once again, I'm gonna do this. Request land lease and profit. Mechanical computing is researched. I'm gonna go for radio and let's go for improved machine tools as well as support weapons one. Approach Germany is finished. I'm gonna ask them for military access now, also I'm going to get no aggression back with them. So I don't have to worry about them not liking me anymore. Also I'll ask Hungary for military access. Why the hell not? Next focus I'm gonna do is promote Bulgarian nationalism. A batch of equipment has just arrived. Let's once again steal equipment. Let's ask Greece for military access to us for the memes. And let's put some divisions into training. I'm gonna put six divisions and give them top priority. Congratulations, Amelia. And Japan just declared war on China, which is good. Why? You'll see why in a moment. Now we no longer need to land lease Spain. What instead we can do now is land lease Japan. This is going to be much better. You'll see why. That's because no legal transport path, which means we're never going to deliver this equipment. We don't have to cancel it ever again. We can just wait. We still have to request it from the big boys though. And justification for Greece is finished. However, I'm not going to declare war on them yet. I want to have at least 20 divisions. And let's go for extensive prescription now. Let's deploy these six divisions. Let's shift and exercise them. And after this focus, I'm gonna go for woman, woman rights focus. Because then I can hire one very specific woman, who is this one, which gives us stability just for existing. Hunger, sorry guys. Investigate further. Oh yes, Zveno exists. I completely forgot about him. Well, we can't do any of these political decisions during the Civil War, but we're gonna do them after the Civil War. Anyway, let's steal more equipment. Ito is such a bro. I'm definitely not going to betray them in the near future. I will, I'm joking. Let's deploy another two divisions. Get rid of him at once. More equipment, please. Let's now get computing machine and also let's get support weapons too, so I can get some bonus for defense. And the woman focus is finished. Let's allow far-right organizations now. I want to do this focus because we get this powerful recruitable population factor 35%. That's a bunch of manpower for free. And let's finally deploy these last two divisions. I think this is good enough. Now let's go for improved infantry equipment. And it's November 1937. I'm going to end my civil war soon. So I'm going to steal equipment one more last time. And then I'm going to end the civil war. And now let's just finish the Civil War. I'm gonna take my 20 divisions, so let's just send them to Sofia. And this is the end of Civil War. Bye-bye, State of War. Now let's draw a fallback line around Sofia like this. And let's exercise our army still. In the meantime, I'll have to take care of Zveno. They're really annoying and they're cringe. I'm gonna repress them now. And now let's start building a military factory in Sofia. They got what they deserved, yes indeed. And finally, let's cancel and lease to Japan. We now have all the equipment back. Look at all this beautiful equipment. Also, I deploy all the planes, 205 fighters and 201 gas bombers, total 406 planes. And with the planes that just arrived, 
we have 431 plane. Let's stop exercising our army for the last time and let's get to general and field marshal. We're still gonna go to the war, so let's wait for our divisions to actually fully reorganize. Let's give our planes orders and let's join the Axis. And now I think I'm ready. But first I'm going to put a bunch of divisions into training. Why? Well, most of my country is going to be occupied except for this state. So I'm gonna lose that manpower. This way I'm just going to preserve them here. And when I want them I can just delete this queue and get them back. So let's the core war on Greece. And now they're controlling all of my states except for Sofia, which means I'm just going to delete these guys and I got all that manpower back. I'm gonna keep them in training though, just so I can have deficit of guns and I can now steal guns from Italy. Italy is always a bro. The guns will come through Yugoslavia. Now let's bypass joint tripartite pact because I'm in the Axis. Let's also bypass peaceful development because I'm clearly not at peace. And finally let's dissolve the military union. I'll have to destroy Zveno. Actually, I can integrate them as well, but I want to destroy them, they're kind of cringe. As you can see, all of my generals are just going to disappear eventually, but it's okay, it's alright. They're not attacking us because we're too strong, so let's get some of these divisions away from the front line. Let's send them to Sofia. I think this will make them attack us. Yes, they're now attacking us. Come on, just, just bash your troops against me, bro. I'll get arm experience, and I'll get air experience, and they're gonna get casualties, so I'm pretty happy. And in the case that things go badly, I can just take these divisions and reinforce the front manually. And Italy is still sending us guns, so let's ask them for some more guns. Anschluss will soon happen, which means Germany is gonna get tons of guns, and I'll have to ask them for land lease. And Anschluss just happened, which means Germany now has tons of Austrian guns. Let's see. Yes, they just decided to send me 1.5k guns, not bad. Integrate the Ratniks. This will give me tons of manpower for free. I'll start taking care of Zveno. Let's dispose the Zveno general since also hire that woman who gives us stability. Dimitrana Ivanova. My goal is to make Romania have at least 100,000 casualties, then they're gonna be a bit easier to push out. Yay, we got our first 100 air experience. Let's go for air crew surveys. Let's deploy these two divisions. Look, we just lost another general. Zveno moment. Imprison Zveno leaders. Germany wants to join the war, we're not gonna let them in, and we can deploy another single division. Okay, let's now put them say, in the same army, let's turn this into a front line, not a fallback line. And I'll try to deploy them at least under one division a bit later. And I got 23 divisions, I think this is good enough. Let's try to break through like here. I have to start pushing against Greece. I can't push Romania, but I can definitely push Greece. Who could have thought that Spain, national Spain would win? Wow, very rare occasion. So rare. I have to do some micro magic right here. Force attack. Let's go for a raid. And with some micro management magic, I'm gonna create my first encirclement here. I did it. Now I should be able to push them easily. Let's also grab their airport while we're at it. Let's improve their temporary, and I'm going to go for formation flying finally. Romania is pushing in the north. Let's do some last stand orders here. Not try to have full control of either Central Macedonia or Thrace, or if possible, both. And let's deploy these two divisions now. Some more last stand. And let's finally destroy this encirclement right here. Let's make sure that some chaos bombers are supporting our guys in Greece. Italy, more guns, please. Thanks, Italy. And we are about to take Thessaloniki. After integrating the Ratniks, Bulgarian integration of the Balkans. I'll try to capitulate Greece, so let's. Rush their victory points for now. Romania is barely pushing us out. I think we can defeat them with our 27 divisions. Another Greek division destroyed. And rip another Greek division. I'll have to do some last stand once again here. And finally let's go for superior firepower. And once we take Athens and Peloponnese we should be able to capitulate Greece. And Greece should capitulate like now. Okay, one more victory point and they're done now. Yes. I'm obviously going to take out their states, I don't want complications with Italy. We took out Greece, now let's focus on Romania. Dive bombing, let's also give these guys some cavalry and local police force. I'm also going to remove trucks from our cavalry battalion. All of the planes will support these guys and we produce some more planes in the meantime. Let's get advanced machine tools and let's rally against Zven. I made this nice encirclement right here with some micro. That's going to be six destroyed divisions and they're destroyed. Let's now try to encircle more divisions here. And that's another bunch of divisions encircled here. Five this time. RIP! Let's check the casualties. They got over 200,000, so we got only 25,000. This is great. Encirclement opportunity right here. And that's another two divisions. 
Now let's start justifying against Italy. Yes, you heard it right. Our best pal, Italy, we're going to justify against them. Because we're so nice. Good old force attack. Combined with chaos bombing, is basically unstoppable. And we just took their capital. Yay. Another division encircled. Let's improve artillery. And another encirclement right here. Let's get direct ground support. And Constanza has fallen. We should be able to have good supplies now. Bulgarian integration of the Balkans is finished and now I can go for the third Bulgarian Empire. This will give me more go against Turkey, but nobody's gonna guarantee them because AI is stupid. They're guaranteed by Romania though, but look at Romania. Just look at them. Let's rush their victory points. And Clue has fallen. Is this enough? Yes it is. Bye bye Romania. I'm not going to take all of their states, I'm gonna let them have these three, but I'm not gonna let them have these three. I'm just going to sub I'm going to liberate Moldova there. Why? Well they're gonna guarantee Turkey and I'll have to fight them again. It's gonna get be very complicated, so I'm just going to let Moldova have this as well as this state right here. Look at our thick country. And what follows is very prosperous time period with no more wars. Just kidding, we're gonna fight again in like two months. We're gonna have some resistance issues, but it's gonna get solved eventually. Also, I should start production of my own guns, so let's produce like five factories of those. Now let's import some steel. Let's get seven of these divisions, I'm gonna give them uh, garrison orders, they're gonna gar garrison mainland Greece, basically. All these 20 divisions will go to the Turkish border, since I'll be fighting both the Italy and Turkey at the same time. And let's finally destroy this event, I completely forgot about them. They're so relevant that I forgot about them. Hunger. Sorry guys, we have to go for hunger. And I'll be building some sieves in Bulgaria. As you can see now I can actually core stuff, but I need more compliance. Let's go for service by requirements, as I'll be running out of manpower a lot. And we're about to proclaim our third Bulgarian Empire, we just did. Let's the core of our before anyone guaranteed them. And now we got 26% stability. The issue is now stability. Why? Well, I'd gladly do this focus, but I need 50, more than 50% stability, so yeah. That's not gonna happen anytime soon, is it? In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing these industrial focuses. Let's do acquire modern tools. Isn't it kind of funny how much I expanded and even proclaimed the Turbulian Empire, but I still haven't finished the first industrial focus. Let's get the lay. And also, Hungary became fascist in the meantime, which means I can now ask them for stuff. They can land lease me, so yeah, Hungary. Help a bro in need. Let's start fighting Turkey. I'm gonna try encircling as many of their divisions as I can. The typical Turkey strategy. Artillery is researched. Let's get new guns. And let's get formation fighting. Let's try to make an encirclement right here. And we finished our first industrial focus. Let's go for improve the road system. And justification for at least finishing. We have the core around them a bit later though. And this is our very first encirclement. 21 division here. Dispersed three. Let's go for dispersed four. Germany wants to send me land lease. Yes, please do. Let's also steal some land lease from. Italy. Oh, they don't like us anymore. Well, too bad. We're gonna destroy them now. Oh yeah, Hungary, Hungary. Please, help me out, Hungary. I'm gonna go into deficit of guns, because they got tons of guns now. They just sent me 9.5k guns. Thanks, Hungary. Thanks, bro. Friendship ended with Italy. Hungary is now my bro. Now look at this beautiful encirclement right here. We took it out, and Turkey has 210,000 casualties. Let's now make a fallback line like this. Let's make them fall for it again, basically. And let's go for hunt and destroy. And yeah, I think we should declare war on Italy soon. Interesting. Italy is influencing our politics somehow. How soon we'll be influencing theirs as well. Let's do this thing again with Turkey. This time is going to be much easier. This time is going to be 11 divisions. Still pretty good. Oh no, Gallipoli disaster. But this time it's other way. Get it? It's comedy. So, let's declare war on Italy. Guns from Hungary have arrived, and I'm gonna ask Hungary for guns some more. Please, Hungary, more guns. Thanks, Hungary. Another 7.8k guns for free. Turkey's kind of running out of divisions. I'm gonna do this fallback line one more time. Oh no, they're nearly invading in Greece. Too bad, I'm just gonna destroy them. Move the chaos into Greece, this should make it easy. Wow, Italy is actually being good at something. They're nearly invading quite well. Two divisions destroyed there, and another five will be destroyed right here. Alright, let's get construction three, and I'm about to deploy another bunch of divisions. For now, let's give them an army, and let's put them on border with Albania. 
And now we're gonna wait until Albania gets annexed by Italy. Germany wants to send guns. Zero of guns. Oh my god, I can't even say no or yes. We improved the road system and now I'm thinking... Well, I actually got 52% stability, which means I'm gonna go for Bulgarian, restore the Bulgarian Patriarchate. This is going to make us uh, grow compliance way faster. It's actually very OP focus. Let's destroy these five divisions. Turkey really doesn't have any army left. Let's, let's, you know what, let's just push them. And Bulgaria can into Asia, indeed. We are now in Asia. Let's attack Turkey. Shouldn't be that hard. I'm just waiting for fate of Czechoslovakia, then Albania gets next, and then I can take care of Italy. And the fate of Czechoslovakia, which means Albania is now gonna get annihilated. They just did. Let's take entire Albania except for this province with the port. I'm gonna do some gaming here in a few moments. Hello there Italian troops, which I'm going to massively unalive in a couple of moments. Nice to see you. Oh no, they made a giant naval invasion, I'll have to prevent that. I should be able to defend Italy can into Istanbul. Let's keep destroying their troops in Albania. I must not take this province at all costs. And I need more guns. Come on Hungary, bail me out, help me, I need help. Thanks, bro. Combat unit destruction. Let's rush Turkish victory points. They still haven't caught Kurdish lands at this point. And we restored the Bulgarian Butcher Hut, which means we're gonna start building that compliance quickly. Now, I guess we're gonna condemn Macedonian organizations. And I think this is... yes, this is it. We took out Turkey. Let's take all the states. Oh, I don't have enough score. What am I gonna do? Let's just pass a couple of times. A couple more times. Now I can annex them. That's because Italy was controlling this. It was expensive. Anyway, let's destroy these three divisions in Albania. I have to focus on taking out Italy here. And this is scary how many divisions they got here. <laughs> Exposed roads, don't mind if I take it. And let's bomb these islands a little bit. Destroy these divisions in Albania. And we did it, we took these islands. Now I have to take them out of trace. This might take some time. And now I can finally train some extra divisions because we got all the stockpiles from the Turkey. Or from what used to be Turkey. Condemn Macedonian organizations. Let's do anti IMRO propaganda. Where is that decision? Here it is. Now let's get invigorate national industry. National industry is better than attract foreign capitals. I don't care about your opinion. Molotov Ribbentrop. We barely care. That just means we're about to hit World War II. Let's get mobile defense. And their name invading in Greece again. Look at this disaster. I have to fix this somehow. Did they just leave after naval invading? Literally, Italian AI is the smartest AI ever. They're just trolling me at this point. They're just fooling with me at this point. Now let's rush their ports while we still can. And after all the destruction, let's check the casualties. They got about a third of a million. Could be much better though. Let's go for improved computing machine now. And another one. Italy is still strong. They still have about 60 divisions. And we're about to witness World War II. Let's expand to Sofia University. This is kind of depressing. I still have free research slots and World War II is about to start. Anyway, let's deploy these six divisions and send them to the front line. We managed to encircle some divisions here. Let's destroy them. And just as we say, they're once again naval invading in the Peloponnese. Yay. One millionth naval invasion. Look at all this mess. Let's try to take this port right here now. He might be able to win this finally. And we encircled Istanbul. Let's finally destroy the divisions in Istanbul and let's take it. Fall of Warsaw, good job Germany. And let's go for Burgas. Germany is about to capitulate one, which means we're gonna get tons of guns for free. Let's create a deficit of guns and let's ask Germany for guns. 